Hey everybody, it's Istvan82. I am back. I'm, uh, making a damn sip of coffee. Alright, so we've got temporary shelter here. God damn, I hate that spider. Alright, we're gonna need a weapon, just in case. Alright, so let's get a sword. I'm gonna make a stone pick, and I guess we'll go mining for the time being. Should have plenty of that. Now, the only, yeah, the real downside of the biodomes is Polly Shore. Trust me. No, um, the real downside of the biodomes is the fact that, you know, there, everything is a limited resource and you can't just dig on forever. It's not a huge problem. Per se, it's just that you're going to end up spending a lot of time going, Well, I think I am completely out of resources in this dome. Time to move on. And, uh, iron and shit is a bit rarer. I think. We're gonna start digging. I'll dig all the way out to the outside of the dome, I don't care. The only thing I really care about is not wasting resources. So whenever we, uh, uh-huh, like that, coal. Like, whenever we find something like this, we are going to dig around it. And make sure, and that iron especially, make damn sure that there is nothing hiding around or behind it. Because stuff loves generating on the edge of the spear. I mean... I know we are going to die a lot, so the trick is going to be not doing that. At the moment, my plan is going to basically revolve around gathering resources. Now, here's the thing. It's a little easier, well, much easier to get diamond in uh, this, because, of course, we know where it is. If you look, there's actually, on the mini-map, one of those spheres directly to the southwest of me. I think we're even close to the same level. I'll check, actually. It's easy to check. Get all this coal. No. I really do hate the spider noise of their little feet just, you know, all over the fucking place. Let's dig. Yeah. Gotta be careful because... Alright. Yeah. If I got a bucket of water... I think I could actually get down there. Of course, shit generates on top of that, too. Which doesn't it means it's not exactly safe, which is actually kind of nice, because I could abuse the hell out of this. And probably will, but, you know. That, but, yeah, that is a big fucking dungeon. And it is loaded full of things that make it incredibly worthwhile to try and get into it. Alright. I hate that spider noise. It's awesomely creepy, but, you know, still. It's creepy. Yeah, but... I think... We'll probably, uh, when the day comes, go on a little adventure. And we'll probably go straight. Like, north. And we'll just keep heading north until we find something like... I'm gonna make shears out of some of this. I know it's kind of wasteful, but... I definitely want a bed. I wonder if I can shear spiders for wool. Never mind. I don't just I just don't want to sleep on that bed. But yeah, this is um this is a interesting slash dangerous mod because oh man, oh man, are you gonna wanna explore everything and mine everything and your regular mining strategies are bad because you never know when the bottom of this thing is going to come up. The bottom of this thing could be anywhere. So could the side, so could everything. Like, this is probably going to end up being a hole. Nope, alright. See what I mean? I don't know where shit is. Alright. It's absolutely imperative not to step like that. 
Or like I almost did there before you dig. And also, close up your holes. That way spiders... Because spiders will spawn... There are plenty of ledges all over this thing. Spiders will spawn anywhere on the outside. I think they'll spawn on glass. I'm not really certain. Sorry, my sinuses are just clogged all to hell. Not that this is anything new to you guys. This is, in fact, the standard, uh... Standard operation. God damn. That's creepy sounding. Put the coal in there. We've got plenty of coal in the furnace. That's good. Ah, sun's starting to come up. Yeah, they actually fixed it so the sun comes up in the west and... I think that's the west. Or the south. Yeah, the sun is coming up in the south. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I just don't see it. Oh, no. The sun's coming up in the east and gonna set in the west. Of course, in old Minecraft, it did set... Or rise in the north and set in the south, I think. If I can kill a couple spiders... I'm gonna wait, though. I definitely want shit to get killed by sunlight, though. <laughs> Alright, I have an idea. A killing hole. <laughs> Where'd it go? Awesome. Alright, well that worked. Let me put that block of wood back in there. Alright, let's... That's not it. I don't want to put a chest in there. Eh, Alright. Let's see, I didn't... Oh, got two pieces of string. I'll kill this one too. Alright, that's enough for one block of wool, so that's something. But yeah, we'll head... That's west. We want to head north. That way I know I head north, and then when I want to head back, I head south. I should probably make an iron tool. Just... Well, no, I don't really need it. I've got... The only thing I'm going to go find is wool... Or going to try and find is wool, so... I mean, I can cut down some trees on the way. Like that jungle biome. That jungle biome is tempting, but I don't want to go anywhere yet. Good lord, look at how fucking huge this thing is. Sheep will appear pretty much normally. Uh, we're having some lag issues. This is the downside of having single player be server play. Huh. Well, this is awkward. Wait. There we go. Yeah, especially when you've got so many mob uh, mods installed. I get these because. Well, now that I have Tree Capitator again, oh, oh, how I missed it! I don't really have to worry about um being able to cut down every last branch and you know particle of a tree. Hmm. Let's keep going north. I want to be able to find a way back through because. I'm not really well equipped at the moment for survival. I'm gonna get pick up a lot of tree on the way through though, just because it's here, it's easy to get, it's in my way. I think that's gonna be a desert biome. If it's another biome, we're not going into it yet. And there's another one of those giant things. God damn it, really? Before when I logged on, I was like, nope, you can't find any. Ah oh, well. Mm. Ah, coffee. Hmm. This is a pretty wide open damn biome. What type is this? Uh, plains. Alright, ooh, sheep. Please don't jump off that bridge to your death, sheep. Please don't do that. Please drop, I think, two blocks of wool is what I need. I think it'll drop it by default, actually. I cannot shear the sheep because lag. Huh, alright, well, at least the game isn't crashing because lag. No, but I did have that experience, like, that is trying to load, and there's going to be something huge out there. Which is why... Oh, God. Don't die, sheep. Yes. All right. And there's cows there. There's another another fucking ruin, or dungeon. And those uh, cows are just going to sit there. Yeah, that's probably what was trying to generate. I mean, it's a bit awkward, but it's not too bad. 
Sugar cane? Why, yes, please. I'm probably going to have to spend some of the iron I have on a bucket. Just to make sure that I've got what I need. Oh yeah, that's the other thing you'll end up seeing. Um, if you've looked at all the, mo or the mod descriptions at all. The cave system these worlds generate, or these domes generate, are absolutely fucking lootly gigantic. That's because they changed it from the standard cave generation system to the nether cave generation system. So that means when you actually find one of the caves, it usually looks like an apple was, that someone has taken a bite out of. <coughs> and we'll run back before... I mean, we got what we came for and a bonus in the sugar cane, so I don't want to stay out here too long. But yeah, you can't, like, you can see that cave over there. That's not too big. Uh, there. That right there. And that doesn't look too big right now, but, yeah, that. That huge open space there. Yeah, it's that other dungeon. I think there are bosses in the dungeons. I'm not sure. I probably should have done more research into the mob uh, mods before I installed them. One thing I am going to do, though, I might need this sheet later. So I'm going to put him in here where he's safe and leave him and then continue heading south. I'm glad I've got apples. I managed to pick up some good resources while we were out. No, but I'll have that bucket, because that bucket's going to allow me to get down to that dungeon. I'm going to need more resources first. I at least want diamond resources. Which, like I said, aren't really that hard to get in this. Like that one, that one's literally on level with me. You know what, I'm going to... I'm going to do a stupid and... Make a quick detour by that jungle biome and see if I can get cocoa beans. Because I'm, I'll have all the re uh, the resources. I've got seeds, I think. So yeah, at that point I'll have all the resources material. Oh wait, there's a. There are uh, mushroom domes, but of course I haven't seen any yet. So. Chickens. Oh, can you drop me eggs, please? Oh goddamn, it's wolves. Can you drop me eggs? I guess not. All right. I can either get home this way or. Oh, goddamn tree capitator, thank you. Now I'm looking for cocoa beans. I don't want to be here very long if I can help it. I also need to pick up some jungle wood. Um. All right. Take down another tree or two. Of course, these ones are the beautiful ones if you need resources because. Really? Goddamn. Alright, um, we're gonna have to build something real quick. Alright, blom. I need regular wire planks. Let's just make two. That'll help me out. Alright. Alright, come on. Ah, oh, there we go. Totally worth it. Totally worth it for the wood resources. And the jungle sapling resources, because those will... Well, well I don't think uh, my dome is large enough to generate those. But now I need to find that cocoa bean. Even one. There we go. Get that. Now. Um, did I get it? Yes, I did. Alright, awesome. I might have already had one. Who the hell knows? Once again, I'm, you know, yeah, I need to... Uh, or it uses up the same amount of resource of the axe that it would use to cut down all of those blocks. If I can remember how to turn that off, I would. Because I think that's what they put in as a balancing factor. But I'm sorry. When you cut down the bottom of a tree, in reality, the top comes down with it. That is how trees work. It's one of the things they're famous for. Alright, we'll get the hell back, and then we'll 
call it chickens. Yeah. And then I head south after that. I think. Uh. Yeah, south from here. Did I collect any eggs on the way? I didn't collect any eggs on the way. Do you have any, like, seeds? I don't have any seeds. That's surprising. Alright. No time to sit around and wonder what happened to my life and my lack of seeds. I've got the materials for a bed. That's a really stupid looking tree. It looks like a penis. Well, as penis as you can get in Minecraft. And, yeah, we'll head back. It'll be fine. Everyone will live happily ever after. You know, failing that, I will get eaten by creepers. It happens. It could happen to anyone. All right. There we go. My house is just sitting there all sad in the corner of the map. I'm going to take down this tree. But hey, we're alive. We came out of it alive and well. And that's what's important. There, more importantly, I now have a brown mushroom to use with the red mushroom over here. So I will definitely plant those until I can find a mushroom biome. And I think all I have to do to turn a mushroom by or to get a mushroom to exist, if one does not pre-exist, is get it into a mushroom biome. So hopefully I'll have that going for me. But we're going to get in here. Blam. What in the hell did I bring back? Stuff. All right, cool. Then we're definitely going to be making a bucket, among other things. The first thing we're going to do is make a bed because we have the stuff and can. Blah. Huh? Bleh, and bleh, bleh, bleh. Awesome. We've got a bed. We're doing well. I'll put it right here. Just so I don't, you know, like, fall out of the world or something. I'll also, since I managed to make two odd pieces of wood there, I'll just use those. And this is where I'll call it. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all guys next weekend for more Minecraft Map Mod Mayhem. Or whatever the hell I'm calling it. Map Mod Mayhem. That's it. Alright, till then, peace.